Hi, today I'm going to talk about different kinds of paints and how they work on wood. Okay, now, first of all, we're going to take, we're not going to talk about, there are all kinds of different paints. We're not talking about alcohol inks or spray paints today. What I want to talk about is the difference between watercolor paints and acrylics and go wash is kind of somewhere in between. We're not, and I don't have go wash to demonstrate with, but now I am sure that all of you probably use watercolor paints as a kid. Basically, watercolor paints are pigments. You mix them with a little bit of water, and then we're going to see what they do on wood. Okay, here's the sample. They're very light. They give a very nice, like, light. Usually, I don't work so much with watercolors. What I do is I work with acrylics. Now, you can use just a disposable plate or a special palette. I end up just using the disposable plates most of the time. Um, so here, a little bit of acrylic paint. They usually come in these bottles. You can get the bigger bottles as well. Um, so we're going to take some just plain acrylic paint in the same color, and we'll see. We'll put it right next to it and see the difference. Okay. There, you can see way, way darker, way, um, way heavier color. Now, if we wanted a little bit lighter acrylic, we can add some water to the acrylic. And you'll see that we'll get something in between. And if, if it's got a little too much pigment, you can just take a rag, wipe off a little. This is what we call a wash. And there are the differences. You've got the watercolor, the acrylic that's straight and the diluted acrylic with water now what if let's say you have dark blue and you have white and you want a baby blue or a lighter blue at least so how do you do it really super simple you put a little bit of each color here we've got the blue and the white and then we're going to take our paintbrush one thing to really important after you use the paintbrush each time wash it in water and dry it. These paints are all water-based, so you wash in water. It's not turpentine, not like oil paints. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of the blue and just mix it with white, and then we're going to take here. If you want it to not look streaky, you can mix it over here on your plate, and then we're going to make our nice light blue. If you need to, you can add a little more white till you get the right color you want. And there's a nice blue. Now we'll show you just the uh, what the other colors, the original colors look like right next to it. We have, there's the dark blue. And whoops, my paintbrush fell apart. So let's get up another paintbrush. Okay, and here's white. So mixing colors can be as simple as that, but I'm gonna give you a couple of tips. One, if you're doing a large space that you want all to be the exact same color, mix enough to do it in one go. Second, if you're using black, you have to be super careful. Use just a tiny, tiny bit because black is so overpowering, it can quickly make everything look really uh, not nice and really, really dark. And go slowly. Don't put a bunch of colors all together. Mix them up and see. Just do a little bit at a time. See, is that the color you want? Add a little more of a different color. Go slow until you've got the color you want. And that's my tip for you on how to how to use different paints working with wood. My name is Yael Enkin. I'm a wood artist. I have taught classes and worked in wood for over 15 years, almost 18 now. And um, if you like this and you're interested in more tips, the next video I'm going to make is actually about different background painting techniques. Um, so if you like this and want to see more, let me know in the comments. Have a great day.